breaking news tonight. President Trump will soon nominate another member of the U.S. Supreme Court. Longtime Justice Anthony Kennedy says he will retire next month. We've been following the news since it broke earlier this afternoon, sending you a first alert when we learned that Justice Kennedy's plan was to retire next month. And our Scott Swan joins us now with a closer look at the Justice's long career and what this could mean for the future of the court. Scott? Yeah, John, quite simply, this means President Donald Trump will have a chance to make the U.S. Supreme Court solidly conservative. If his nominee is approved, it'll be the most significant change the court has seen in nearly half a century. Justice Kennedy has been the swing vote since 2006, often casting the deciding vote in the most high-profile cases. Kennedy wrote four of the court's most important decisions, including that landmark 2015 ruling striking down the nationwide ban on same-sex marriage. He joined the court's four other conservatives to gut the Voting Rights Act and give new life to the Second Amendment right to own a gun. Justice Kennedy will turn 82 next month. He served on the high court for nearly 31 years, but his departure has been rumored for about a year. In fact, I had to be on the phone today with Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly when this news broke, and I got a chance to ask Donnelly his first reaction to that news. He has served our country well. He has uh, provided us um, with measured and constant judgment, and um, I think he's... He's somebody that will miss on the Supreme Court. Now, Senator Todd Young sent us this statement, reading in part, I join my fellow Americans in wishing him all the best in the future. I look forward to voting to confirm a faithful constitutionalist onto the court. And just today, Justice Kennedy joined four other justices, delivering a major blow to labor unions representing millions of U.S. workers. In a five to four opinion, they ruled that state government workers who choose not to join a union don't have to pay a share of union dues to cover the cost of negotiating contracts. So now everybody is trying to guess who will replace Justice Kennedy on the bench. President Donald Trump talked about that this afternoon as he thanked Justice Kennedy for his decades of service. A man who is displaying great vision, he's displayed tremendous vision and tremendous heart. And he will be missed, uh, but he will be retiring. And we will begin our search for a new justice of the United States Supreme Court that will begin immediately. President Trump says his nominee will come from a list of 25 that he used when he selected Justice Neil Gorsuch. The president says he spoke about some of those choices with Justice Kennedy at the White House earlier today. Okay, this is going to take a little time here, mm -hmm. but how long before this process plays out? Well, Republicans want it to be on the fast track. They want to get it done before the election this fall. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk about the Indiana judge who is on the president's list of 25 potential nominees. That's at 6. All right, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Scott. You bet.